Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to talk about AWS Identity and Access Management, AWS IAM, a web service to securely control access to your AWS resources and services. We'll talk about the key features, benefits, use cases, infrastructure, as well as how AWS Identity and Access Management works. Let's get started. AWS Identity and Access Management, AWS IAM, is a web service to securely control access to your AWS resources and services. It enables you to centrally manage permissions that control which AWS resources and services users can access. AWS IAM provides the infrastructure necessary to control authentication and authorization for your AWS account. It also enables you to control who is authenticated, that means signed in, and authorized, that means has permissions, to use your AWS resources and services. Let's talk about the benefits of AWS Identity and Access Management. AWS Identity and Access Management offers the following benefits for an organization. Set permission guardrails and fine-grained access. Manage workload and workforce identities across your AWS accounts. Use temporary security credentials and permission sets to access your AWS resources. And analyze access and validate IAM policies as you move toward list privilege. Let's elaborate each of these benefits of AWS identity and access management. Set permission guardrails and fine-grained access. You can set and manage guardrails with broad permissions and move toward least privilege by using fine-grained access controls for your workloads. Manage workload and workforce identities across your AWS accounts. You can manage identities across single AWS account or centrally connect identities to multiple AWS accounts. Use temporary security credentials and permission sets to access your AWS resources. You can grant temporary security credentials for workloads that access your AWS resources using IAM and grant your workforce access with AWS IAM Identity Center. Analyze access and validate IAM policies as you move toward list privilege. You can generate list privilege policies, verify external and unused access to resources, and continually analyze to right-size permissions. Now let's talk about the use cases for AWS Identity and Access Management. AWS Identity and Access Management supports the following use cases, which cover the need of a broad spectrum of customers, apply fine-grained permissions, and scale with attribute-based access control, manage per-account access, or scale access across AWS accounts and applications, establish organization-wide, and preventative guardrails on AWS, and set, verify, and right-size permissions toward list privilege. Let's elaborate each of these use cases for AWS Identity and Access Management. Apply fine-grained permissions and scale with attribute-based access control. Create granular permissions based on user attributes such as department, job role, and team name by using attribute-based access control. Manage per account access or scale access across AWS accounts and applications. Manage per account identities with IAM or 
use IAM Identity Center to provide multi-account access and application assignments across AWS. Establish organization-wide and preventative guardrails on AWS. Use service control policies to establish permissions guardrails for IAM users and roles and implement a data perimeter around your accounts in AWS organizations. Set, verify, and right-size permissions toward list privilege. Streamline permissions management and use cross-account findings as you set, verify, and refine policies on the journey toward list privilege. Excellent. Now let's see how AWS Identity and Access Management works. With AWS Identity and Access Management, IAM, you can specify who or what can access services and resources in AWS, centrally manage fine-grained permissions, and analyze access to refine permissions across AWS. The diagram is created by Amazon Web Services. It shows the key features of AWS Identity and Access Management, IAM, and how it controls who or what can access services and resources in AWS. We recommend you read the diagram and get a better understanding. Now let's see the infrastructure of AWS Identity and Access Management. The diagram is created by Amazon Web Services, which illustrates the infrastructure of AWS Identity and Access Management AWS IAM. First, a human user or an application uses their sign-in credentials to authenticate with AWS. Next, a request is made to grant the principal access to resources. Access is granted in response to an authorization request. Once authorized, the principal can take actions or perform operations on resources in your AWS account. We recommend you spend some time to read the diagram and get a better understanding. In conclusion, use AWS Identity and Access Management IAM and securely manage identities and control access to services and resources in your AWS account. Use IAM to manage and scale workload and workforce access, securely supporting your agility and innovation in AWS. That's all about AWS Identity and Access Management, AWS IAM. Thank you and see you in the next lesson.